which is North East Alabama, where the dangers are certain that you have to watch out for the wild turkeys and boar. <laughs> You're a boar. <laughs> uh, we found a hornet's nest. And hopefully, if I can get on a fire, I can put them to sleep, and then we can get some honey. But unfortunately, I could get stung, and these could be very poisonous, and my face could swell up like a mushroom. <laughs> oh, I'm going to climb this tree to hopefully get a better view of my surroundings and find out which way I need to go. And that's my trusty dog, Ember. Enough. Well, there's a bit of a valley in that area down there. If we follow that, we could find a stream that could hopefully lead us to civilization. And looks like a few fruit trees down that way, so hopefully, I'll get me some food. It's just beautiful. Watch out for these spiky things. But you know, you always have to go up to go down. Go that way. Well, this, this will make some good firewood later. And if we look, we might be able to find some bugs and get some food. Well, there's nothing in there. Okay, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pull up this bendy little sapling here because I really don't want to be out in these woods without some sort of weapon. And this could be used as a spear, and if I find a lake I could even use it as a fishing rod and use my own shoelaces for line. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to yank it up. There we go. Nice, nice cut there. Gotta get all these little twiggies off. And you know, what I'm really worried about is the coyotes in this area, because I've heard that they're very vicious. And I really... What? What? I'll just break this one off as well. There we go. So I've got a nice spear. Uh, sharpen it with my knife. <laughs> Maybe you should sharpen the big end? Nah. Cause this will make it easier to go in the animal. This, this will help. This will be good and it's amazing that it really doesn't take that much to cover and keep the rain out. But I really don't think it's going to rain tonight. Let's put it out some leaves under here. And that is a shelter. As you can see, it's very nice and cozy, but that'll actually help insulate you. And I really need to get started on a fire now. So let's, let's go get that started, guys. Alright, so I found these cattails earlier whenever I was down near the swampy area. And these things are just amazing. You can use these for insulation or they are great for tinder. 
for your fire. And that's what I'm about to do right now. Stick those down right in there. Make sure they oh get fuzzy. And now I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to strike it with this these rocks and you really don't want to eat those. You can tell by the way their legs are shaped that they're poisonous. And you really want to try to avoid those, so I'm gonna knock that guy in the fire. Maybe he'll burn with it. There, yeah, it's amazing how a little fire can almost make you feel human again. It's just like being out in nature, there's so much and it's so raw and there's nothing but just a fire it makes you feel like you have a little control, a little sense of balance. Wonderful. And so my priorities tomorrow are going to be to find some food and to find some water. But right now I got the fire boots. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't the best sleep of my life, but you'd be amazed what comfort you can get from having some sort of shelter, even if you just make it yourself. Alright you guys, here's the deal. I should be very quiet. I just spotted the elusive white rabbit. I'm trying to get it really clear. We have to be very careful not to spook it off. Look, there it is. Here we go. Here we go. Ruby. Hold on, I can't see it. You can't see it. She's not, she's a trusty dog. Now this is going to be good. I haven't had rabbit meat in so long. But the thing is, I have to be very careful because I can't eat too many of these rabbits because if I do, I'll get this thing that's called protein poisoning. And rabbits are just all muscle. And so I, you, they have just so much protein in them. And I could die from that. So I have to be really careful with what I eat. And I really need to focus on getting some more water because um, digestion just makes you just soaks up all your water and makes you even more dehydrated. Look, the Kyoji! Oh, it must have, you must have spooked it. That's good. This is gonna be good.